Hello, everyone. My name is Jaron Hezave, and I'm co-founder CEO of Avatronics. If uh, you've ever used a pair of active noise cancelling headphones, such as these, you definitely know it does not work on high-pitched noises, such as uh, crying babies or loud or annoying people on the phone. Uh, noise is the modern-day hazard. It's uh, distracting, it's stressing, and it's everywhere. And uh, quiet is the new luxury we happily pay for. But despite the demand and competition, mark market lacks a solution that's small, low power, low cost, does not destroy the audio quality of the device, and uh, it works on high frequencies. Uh, we humans can hear between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz, and uh, this is how the usual noises around us are spread along this spectrum. The best noise cancelling headphones, such as these, cancel only around 1 kilohertz. At Avatronics, we have the first wideband solution that cancels and works on the most challenging part of the spectrum, up to 5 kilohertz. Since the launch of the company in 2016, we have poor patents. We have developed a lab prototype consisting of our technology built into various audio devices. And we've been talking to seven major manufacturers for licensing the technology. Uh, our business model is licensing. And our go-to-market strategy is going to be continuing direct contact with the major manufacturers in the industry. Uh, we, uh, what we have is a great uh, enhancement to the headphone industry. But in uh, other sectors, such as conferencing and uh, smart speakers, we have quite a novel disruption that because we are the only ones who can cancel the ambient noise and deliver the speech perfectly. Um, the feedback has been unanimously positive so far. And uh, everyone we have talked to wants to see a demo unit consisting of our technology built into their own devices of choice. And we need one million in order to deliver the demo units and continue negotiations to seal at least one deal in 2018. We are a Swiss company based in Lausanne. And we receive um, help and support from various cantonal and uh, federal agencies. We have a great team on top of a great project and pr product. And uh, you can see the list of our people here with complementary technical and business background. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Jaira, and thank you so much. And let's move on to questions. How do you think about structuring these licensing deals in terms of you know, how much would you charge the manufacturers, and what does that translate into cost for consumers? Uh, it, it, it's a great question. Actually, uh, from the feedback that we have received so far, it, it really depends on the size, size of the customer that we are talking to. At the very beginning, we need to have a, a, you know, a startup phase, basically, in order to integrate what we have into their product and see the results and everything. So there is an upfront fee there. And from there on, based on the numbers of you know, the, the headphones or I don't know, the conferencing units or whatever that they want to uh, sell, we can have um, a portion upfront and from there on per device. But sector to sector and you know, customer to customer, it changes. Because some of the customers we have talked to are multi-brand, and they are active in all of the different sectors. And there is an indication of uh, exclusive licensing and, you know, by some of them. And that would be a larger lump sum. Can you give us order of magnitude numbers? Just, I mean, like if you were on 10 million devices, would that be a lot or a little economically for you? I mean, no, for headphones, you mean only? I'm just trying to work out how many, how many devices does your technology have to be on for this to be a big business? Um, the exact number, I don't think I, you know, I, I would have the best number here. But you know, you have the market sizes for you know the various uh, sectors that we have here. Headphone by itself is supposed to reach around 24 billion. Yeah. I know that number. Um, it's millions, actually, practically it's so millions. If you were on millions of devices, then you'd be, you'd be doing what? More than a euro per device. Uh, well, what we have uh, seen in or you know in something like uh, the. See, 12 million is only for licensing, and we have no cogs or anything. It's for like five dollars uh, per device that we okay, want to license. Great. So no more questions. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sure Jiran from Avatronics.